1904, behind Merrimack Mills in Lowell, Massachusetts. Haunting, stark. Somebody set up this picture. It was for proprietors of locks and canals who managed the mill's water power. Presumably, the assignment was to photograph a construction site. Somebody also depicted a story. It would seem a dark story. The brief original notes mentioned two women posing in the foreground. With nice visual balance, the one at the left observes the one at the right, who observes us, imposing and strange. She seems to be in a funeral dress with thick veil. There's more to unpack, more funeral symbols, and maybe transport to a world beyond. It's hard to see, but at the end of the track is a third figure, a spectral figure by a fence and maybe a gate. It's easier to see when enlarged. There's a man's shoe on the track and a box which looks suspiciously like a coffin. It's on a loading dock as if ready to be transported somewhere on the train. To the spectral figure at the gate, is the shoe something this person left behind? I first saw this photo May 2023 in the archives of the National Park Service Boot Cotton Mills Museum. For two years, I have been researching the recently discovered photographer Annie Powell. She lived 92 years between 1859 and 1952. After studying thousands of her photos, I was pretty sure this was hers. Could I prove it? Here's an ad she and her husband ran around the same time in the Lowell City Directory. The J is for John and the E for Elizabeth, Annie's given name. Until discovery of her final effects in 2021, this ad had been the only suggestion Annie was associated with photography. The Powell studio definitely took construction site photos around 1904. Here's a reference in the Lowell Sun many years later to a construction photo of this time period. But the recent evidence says she was the main photographer during the studio years ending in 1906 and beyond to the early 1940s when she was a widow in her 80s. 1892, this may have been the first paid photo she took in Lowell. It appears she migrated there from West Yorkshire, England, about six months ahead of her husband to shoot construction photos for proprietors of locks and canals. Later, clients included book publishers, Lowell City Engineers, Lowell Housing Authority. Specialties included portraits of children and her Swedish-American and Portuguese-American neighbors. We have examples of her handwriting that seems to match. I found in my study sometimes she went way beyond documentation to create personal art. Sometimes the images illuminated her religious beliefs about heaven and the Day of Judgment. This image evokes the Day of Judgment, but it has no handwriting. How could I link Annie Powell? With lower health and medical standards, death would have been a common experience for Annie. In the years before 1904, both parents died and a young niece died of diphtheria. Her youngest sister, Clara Wood, lived across the street near the Concord River with her husband, Thomas Wood, and their five young children. In fact, here's Thomas Wood's death certificate from that time. Thomas, who worked at Hamilton Mills downtown, died at home, age 38, of apoplexy. That would be an aneurysm or a stroke. From her scrapbooks, I gathered photos of Annie and her sisters, would facial recognition software identify this model? I change the contrast. Suddenly, I can peek inside the veil and bring out useful facial biometrics. Annie sometimes took selfies or directed assistants to take her photo, so I ran her images through the app. No, no match. Okay, what about her sister Clara, the recent widow? This snapshot is from the late 1940s in the Highland section of Lowell. 
Clara is at the left and Annie at the right. Facial recognition software said no to Clara. That left three more sisters, all with known photos. Annie likely took this photo around 1881 in England. It would be her two brothers in either Emily or Selena. So I entered her in the facial recognition software. Looked like a match. Everything lined up for us to say with near certainty, Annie Powell set up and snapped this image. It seemed to be about her loved ones and her heartfelt beliefs. So in addition to noticing this looks like an Annie Powell photo, I matched it with biography I used image changing and facial recognition software. But questions answered bring new ones. Let's go back to where we started 1904. The photo comes out of the dark room. How does her grieving sister see it? As a comfort? How do her bosses see it? Amused? Moved? Angry to be subsidizing a personal art project? There's no handwriting label on the front, so maybe it really is private and Annie never shows it to them. Just keeps it in their storage area. Until now, over a century later. Never before published, never in an art museum, never public. Until now. You're the first to see it as art. Now it's yours to understand and admire. It's yours to ask your own questions.